Now for something of a little more current vintage, here's Lisa Barrow with all the latest motor news. Toyota makes news this week as we get our first peek at its upcoming 97 Camry, spotted at a desert test track. Although somewhat hidden beneath its fabric and tape disguise, differences from the current Camry can be detected. It's mainly less rounded with marked changes at the rear. Back doors appear longer like Toyota's Avalon. The C-pillar is sharply raked and there are hints of a taller trunk. There also appears to be more glass area, which would correct a definite visibility shortcoming in the current design. These changes should increase Camry's excellent reputation and make it even more competitive with Ford's larger Taurus and the upcoming 98 Honda Accord. Recently, Mazda has been making lots of news, both in the boardroom and on the auto show circuit. When we showed you this RX-01 concept car from last fall's Tokyo Motor Show, we thought it might become a less expensive replacement for the RX-7. But now that Ford has taken a controlling interest in Mazda, production of another rotary-powered sports car is much more doubtful. And speaking of the RX-7, it's now officially discontinued. There are no 1996 models, and the remaining 395 cars will be sold until supplies are exhausted. But as if to ease the pain of that announcement made at last month's New York Auto Show, Mazda surprised the assembled press by unveiling this Miata M concept coupe. Designed and built by Mazda's research and development facility in Irvine, California, the coupe was created to supposedly explore the potential of the Miata platform. The hardtop version features a flowing roof line that called for a reshaped rear deck lid. Plus, a spare tire was relocated beneath the trunk, giving this Miata more precious trunk space than the Roadster. And since the coupe weighs less than the Roadster, it would be a big hit among amateur racers. When asked about a production version of the slick Miata coupe, Mazda officials gave the standard automaker's response that public and press reactions to the concept would guide their ultimate decision. Ford officials have kept mum on whether their takeover of Mazda will affect plans for future Miatas, but keep your fingers crossed. And that's it for this week's Motor News.